And now we head over to the fixed income market. As traders at UBC, the bond secondary market has witnessed modest trading activities around the auction bonds this week. As the market will remain quiet till next week in anticipation of Nigeria's Monetary Policy Committee meetings and the next move to come through. Kenneth Onoha, team member, assets and liabilities at UBA joins me now for more market updates. Kenneth, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Let's talk about the results from Monday's uh, bond auction and how the pendulum is uh, swinging market movement so far. Good afternoon. David, how are you today? Fair like uh, you rightly did mention, there was a bond auction on Monday. Uh, we saw for the DMO issue 400 and um, offer 450 billion across three maturities. We saw a new three-year paper. We saw a reopening of the seven-year paper and the ten-year papers, respectively. Now, what happened on the day in question was we saw that um, subscription levels hit as high as 615 billion, and then we saw that what was actually truly open, what was actually offered on the day was about 478 billion. Now. The, this translates into stop print, stop rates printing at 19.94 for the new paper, which was in 2027, and then we saw increases of 150 basis points and 145 basis points on the 2031 and 2034 to close at um, 20 and 20.2. Four five respectively. Sure. Now walk us through liquidity levels as well now and what to expect as we also gradually seen the rebound of the local currency here at the Nathan window. Okay, so um, on the LCY side, liquidity levels from the beginning of the month has pretty system had been on, in repo. We saw where the system hit as high as two point three trillion in um, repo um, at, at, at some time in the course of the Monday last week actually precisely but then that has changed over time we have seen that as at yesterday yesterday was actually the first time system was actually in net credit balance of about 125.87 billion now as at today the system has actually inched the liquidity levels have been inched up to about 700 um, billion in, in long now where did all of this stem from? We saw banks, some banks being refunded Sierra. We also saw that um, some banks had swap maturities that have yet to be rolled over. So that, in effect, did affect the um, LCY end of the liquidity. But however, it must be, I must be quick to add that um, if we, if we do not, if we do not see more of these refunds or of more of these refunds, we are likely to go back to where we were in terms of the liquidity levels because um, the settlement for the bond auction is supposed to be today, yes. where about 475 billion is supposed to leave the system, creating a hole that needs to be filled again, or else we'll continue that cycle all over again. Again, I must also like to state clearly that um, generally we have seen improvements. Um, in the past two days and we hope that it will continue. We also expect that FAC will come sometime next week. 2.07 trillion is expected to be up on, um, to be shared amongst the three tiers of government and that that's will significantly boost the um, exactly. local currency um, into bank markets. Yes. That said, on the FCY side, we okay. saw um, a significant shift in the Naira strength over the, against the USD. What we did notice significantly was the fact that um, the Naira for two days consecutively have traded at close, nothing closing have printed at about um, 100, less than 1,600 levels. Mm -hmm. Now what that means in essence is we have seen turnover hit as $195 million as against $140 million that was um, at the beginning of the week, which was showing a 32% increase. These are indications that the concerted effort of the CBN to ensure that Naira finds its true value is actually reaping rewards. Remember that when the new administration stepped in, they did promise to see that um, the Naira would strengthen against the USD and over time we'll be going to see the rewards. Yes, so pretty much the... Definitely, the annual turnover is also reflecting the, the strategies here. But wrapping up the conversation, last week Friday we had the inflation numbers come through and that also set the precedent for what to expect in terms of whether or not we are going to see bigger rate hikes in next week's monetary uh, policy committee meeting. For you now, what should we expect in terms of rate hikes and the market ex excitement towards these uh, higher interest rate environment? All right, so um, thank you once again. Now, um, like you rightly pointed out, we saw inflation hits high levels of 31.70%, largely driven by food inflation, which is currently trading at about trending at about 37.92. Now, this is the first of its kind. But um, we do know that the CBN government 
um, CBN governor uh, had promised that he was going to rein on inflation to about 21.4% towards the end of the year. Um, I want to I want to urge everyone to actually believe that in line with what we've seen with um, the FX, Naira strengthening against the FX, we expect to see that eventually some of this his monetary policy actions will begin to yeah. take effect and we'll see that um, the inflation would actually come down to significant levels. What do I see the MC MPC doing? I expect that of course we will see a natural reaction to the inflation. So rates would obviously go yeah. up. Would it be um, as high as it went, the 400 basis points we saw at the last um, MPC meeting, of course not. I expect a conservative approach to well, the increase. Yes, exactly. And also another big question on the minds of so many is that it's just going to be the NPR or we'll see further adjustments towards the asymmetric corridor liquidity ratio uh, 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 and much more. But we'll leave the conversation here for now, Kenneth. We'll definitely have our fingers crossed to see what will pan out in the coming days. Thank you so much for your time on the show today. That was Kenneth Onoha team member liabilities and assets at UBA.